Today, you will see this everywhere when people say, I am only human. They are talking about the limitations of being human. They are not talking about the possibilities of being human, isn't it? When, if we are the most intelligent species on the planet, if we are the most capable species on the planet, should we be talking about our possibilities or should we be talking about our limitations? You are the sum total of all of the choices that you've made up in your life. And anything about yourself or your life that you don't like or isn't working or is mobilizing you is to be looked at in terms of can I grow rather than why did I do it or isn't this wrong? I don't like what I've done. I don't like the fact that I can't do this well or I can't do that well. So I will list these things in my own repertoire and then I will be constantly trying to repair those deficiencies, always assuming that I'm deficient, that there's something wrong with me and I'm trying to fix it. And when you do that, you spend your whole life doing that. But in order to be the winner you were born to be, you must plan to win, you've got to prepare to win and you must expect to win. And if you don't plan to win, and if you don't prepare to win, then you have no legitimate reason for expecting to win. The way that we think about ourselves determines the policies that we embrace, the laws that we agree to live and abide under. Those are all based upon our story. So all of a sudden you see the battle for our story uh, is front and center. I mean, what could be more important than that right now? So when we talk about that battle, uh, there's a battle for who we are and the way that we think about ourselves. You are creators who have come into this environment for the details that it evokes from you. But you are God force who insists upon alignment with the energy of your source. And it is our knowing that as you move forward from this day, Never again will you feel negative emotion without blessing the importance of it. Because in the negative emotion is the indication that you are setting forth for this universe, expansion. And instead of feeling a continuing of negative emotion, you're going to flip, you're going to take the bounce, you're going to feel the solution that your problem has pointed. So then as you begin to think about a new possibility and your brain begins to fire in new sequences and new patterns and new combinations and you begin to plan your behaviors and you begin to review in your mind, mentally rehearse who you're going to be in your life, the mere action of mental rehearsal begins to install the neurological circuits in your brain. Now your brain is no longer a record of the past. Now it's in fact the map to the future. And if you were then to begin to emotionally embrace your future before it's made manifest, in other words, you're not waiting for your healing to feel wholeness. You're not waiting for your new relationship to feel love. You're not waiting for the mystical moment to feel awe. You're not waiting for your success to feel empowered. That's the old model of reality of cause and effect. Many of you, as I have been, as I am, are where you are in your life based upon what you believe. And it's not just what you think you believe on the surface, it's also your shadow beliefs that are holding you back from moving into the life that you believe you deserve. What I know is if you're not looking at the shadows, if you're not looking at what is subconsciously running through the tape in your mind, telling yourself you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough, you're not smart enough, you're not enough, which is a tape that's playing for a lot of people. If you're not conscious of that, then you end up acting out of that belief system and not out of what you know to be the truest or want to be the truest yourself. How do you alter your mindset? Only path is through new awareness. You can receive advice all day long. Many people do. They love being told what to do. They're hooked on new books, new ideas, new lists. 
They learn and learn and learn in all directions except the one that matters most. Learning about themselves. There is no getting around this. It's hard to sustain new happiness without new awareness. You can go for the run, you can have the hard conversation, you can eat better food, you can wake up early, read at night, you can do it all. But does it make you happier? Deep down, long term, that's the metric. If it does, if you're happier, it's because you realize something new about yourself. The change was you. You recognized why your new habits shifted your outlook. It was about challenging your old mindset. We started with this idea that now was the time. It was the time to do more, to do better, to create the change and go for it, do it. If now is the time for change, make the change, but recognize what you are truly seeking. That your body may transform, your habits may improve, you may learn new ideas, but where did the change start? What was behind it all? It's always your mindset. To control where awareness goes, we're controlling where energy is flowing. And if we're controlling where energy is flowing, we're controlling what's manifesting in our life. This is a great secret to learn. This is something that I've learned in the monastery. My guru shared with me that really changed my life. Because I've realized that all I need to do is control where my awareness goes. And if I can control where my awareness goes, I can control where my energy is flowing. And if I can control where my energy is flowing, I can control what is manifesting in my life. And therefore, I can even choose to create positive things in my life or negative things in my life. If you want to enjoy self-confidence on the outside, you must practice complete integrity on the inside. The foundation of self-confidence is for you to live your life consistent with your innermost values and principles, while thinking and acting in harmony with your highest aspirations. Men and women with the most rock Solid self-confidence are those who are absolutely clear about what it is they believe to be right and good and worthwhile and who live their lives consistent with these values. Everything they do or say is an expression of their innermost conviction. Your whole world can fall down around you, but as long as you know that you are doing the right thing, you will have a deep inner sense of calm that will manifest itself in an attitude of confidence and self in an attitude of confidence and self-assurance in any situation. You will have many ups and downs in life. But what is most important is that you remain true to yourself. Your true values are only expressed in your actions, in what you do. You can tell what you truly believe by observing what you do in any situation in which you have to make a choice, especially when you are under stress and pulled in two directions at once with opposing demands or responsibilities. This is when your true values are revealed. The action that you take in any given situation will tell you which of your values is uppermost or whether you have any values at all. It is not what you say, hope, wish or intend, but only what you do that counts. Your choices of the actions you take tell you unerringly who you really are. You can develop within yourself a superb set of values by acting as though you already had those values. You can develop integrity and courage and compassion and confidence by behaving as though you already have these qualities. The more you act the part, especially when you demonstrate these qualities under stress or when you feel like doing or saying something else, the more rapidly these qualities become a permanent part of your mental makeup. The more you practice good values, the more rapidly you become a truly superior person. The keys to developing the unshakable self-confidence that will make everything else possible for you are self-control, self-mastery, and self-discipline. Self-confidence can come directly by behaving in a self-confident manner, but more often it comes indirectly by doing and saying the things and practicing the behaviors that lead to self-confidence. The most important self-development behavior is living consistently with your highest values at every opportunity. Appreciate how special you are. There will never be anyone exactly like you. You are given special gifts and talents to share with the world. And even though everybody has special gifts and talents, nobody will use theirs quite the same way you do. 
You have a way of being in the world and a perspective that's unique to you. You are the only one who thinks your thoughts the way you think them. You have created your own unique reality and are living your life according to your own unique path. You are the only you that will ever be. You're kind of a big deal.